uh, have been given us. Well, amen. Uh, you can be turning over to page 250 tonight for History of the Hymns. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Now, a couple of weeks ago, let's kind of keep you in suspense for a minute or two. A couple of weeks ago, the pastor mentioned a, a great old book called The Pilgrim's Progress, written by John Bunyan. Well, believe it or not, that book is connected in some way with this hymn. And if you haven't read A Pilgrim's Progress, uh, you need to do that. But what do these two hymns have in common? Well, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Just stay tuned and we'll share it with you. You can see on your page for those folks in the house tonight uh, that this song was written, both words and melody, by a, a preacher by the name of Reverend John M. Moore. Born in 1925 and uh, went on to be with the Lord in 2017. By the way, his, uh, it hadn't been long ago, 2017, his obituary is still listed online, so that's pretty interesting. He was born over in Scotland and served as a pastor in several uh, Baptist churches there, then migrated to North America, to Canada, and he uh, served in churches there. He wrote around 150 hymns of the faith. And uh, 1952, I believe, is the copyright on this one. So how was it written? What was the inspiration behind it? What's it have to do with the Pilgrim's Progress? Well, let's find out. Mr. Moore tells the story that this old hymn was written after a most interesting experience. The company secretary, he says, of a large shipping firm telephoned the Seaman's Chapel and requested that uh, Mr. Moore visit. He said, I was to visit a young merchant seaman who was lying critically ill in a Glasgow hospital in Scotland. After getting permission from the nursing sister, I went in to visit the young sailor. I talked for a few moments and then put my hand in my case for a gospel track, not knowing which one I would pull out. It happened to be a track based on Pilgrim's Progress with a color reproduction of Pilgrim coming to the cross with a great burden on his back. Uh, he said, I showed the young seaman this picture and told him the story in brief, adding that Pilgrim's experience had been my experience too, he said. I explained that when I came to the cross of Christ, my burden rolled away and my sense of sin and guilt before God was removed. He nodded his head when I asked him, do you feel this burden on your back today? We prayed together, and never shall I forget the smile of peace and assurance that lit up on his face when he said that the burden was lifted. Then uh, Mr. Moore says, Later that night, sitting by the fireside with pen and paper, I could not get the thought out of my head and out of my mind, his burden is lifted. I started writing, but never for a moment did I imagine this little hymn would become a favorite throughout the world. Since that time, I hear of people all over the world who are being blessed and saved through the singing of this hymn. And his song continues to minister to those today and reminds us both of burdens of life as well as the burden of sin. So you've got your place there. We'll let you remain seated. And with all those things in mind, now you want to go home and order your copy of Pilgrim's Progress if you don't have one on yourself. So this is uh, on page 250. It's Burdens Are Lifted at Calvary. Days are filled with sorrow and care. Hearts are lonely and drear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary, Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary, Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Cast your care on Jesus today. Leave your worry and fear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. 
Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Troubled soul, the Savior can see every heartache and tear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near.